All right, quick video just kind of showing the current thought process for wiring Mega Squirt into a early Porsche 944. So I've decided to put it on the passenger side of the car, kind of like where the DME is on a later car. So this is going to be the, it comes terminated already. This is the eight foot harness that I got with uh, the Micro Squirt module. And this goes up through a hole in the firewall, which I'll show you. This is the output jack for the uh, serial cable that kind of just plugs in there, kind of like a headphone jack. And I've already kind of taken um, kind of a sub loom off of the side of it here. And these are all the wires that are either just not being used or they're not going into the engine bay. So for example, the, uh, I'm trying to think like what's in here, the like enrichment and warm up LEDs um, and like the bootloader uh, connector or whatever stuff that's going to just kind of be in here like the fuel pump ground because that's going to go right to the relay inside here um so i kind of just grabbed all that stuff right at the beginning and put it here deal with that later uh i really like this conduit stuff you can get it in napa or whatever it's pretty cheap and it uh really cleans it up so i'm gonna be doing that throughout the throughout the engine bay too so anyway following that that major loom um up through the firewall here kind of uh, right to the right of the battery tray i have it coming out and let's see I'm gonna replace that grommet there. I'm gonna modify it, kind of drill it to the right size, and when I'm done, put it back over there to keep it waterproof. So I kind of then have two sub looms coming out of this one. It kind of branches. So the first branch is uh, are these wires. These two black ones are grounds. Those are just um, micro squirt. It, it's grounds for the uh, the sorry the, the injectors because it provides a ground to the injectors and the ignition packs, ignition coil packs, which are gonna be mounted here on this. Uh, solid but not very um, smooth looking bracket. The rest of these are just for the ignition and injectors, um, the grounds for those and the signal wires for the uh, the coil packs. And uh, as the coil packs are going to be here, obviously the injector harness is up here so it's all going to kind of be in this area. The rest of it comes down. I am still have this conduit which is too big at this point but these are the rest of the wires and these are all just for the sensors. Um, see how well this camera focuses and this weird lighting condition if I go like that. Would it help? Yeah. So obviously this um, AFM won't, won't be here, but in its place there will be an intake air temperature sensor, which a couple of these go to that. Um, the TPS, I have a 951 throttle body position uh, sensor, which will live down there, and I have a connector for that. Uh, the map sensor, I was kind of just mocking up, you know, these connectors for that. Uh, coolant temp, I'm using the DME's temperature sensor to give a coolant uh, temperature reading to micro squirt. And then uh, the Hall effect sensor, which I have this timing cover off right now, but um, the, the, uh, it reads the trigger wheel and that'll send a reading back through these optical, opto in. Ow, the hood just fell on my head. Why don't you stay up there for two minutes? That'd be great. Um, that's about it. Uh, I'm probably forgetting one or two things, but that's pretty much how it's going to be wired into the car. It's not very complicated. Uh, for the actual mounting, what I was thinking about doing was I have one of these kick panels from uh, just a parts car, and uh, this just this just obviously just, just mounts like that, or however it is on the passenger side. And I was thinking about just taking some wood, you know, cut it and put a second part up there, and then actually take the micro squirt, which is this guy. Me putting it, you know, just like that or something. Um, that big harness plugs into there, you know, maybe put it like that, and then over here, uh, put some, you know, I'd have like the main relay, the fuel pump relay, and then in the mail right now, I have uh, a six gang fuse block that I would just probably put here so I could just kind of locally do all of the, you know, have like a power from the battery, and uh, there's the new injector harness. The I have a three prong uh, weather pack connector coming for that. Should be here today or tomorrow. Anyway, I'm talking too much, but that's pretty much how it is. It's A lot of it is just waiting for parts right now, but I think that this could work pretty well. So of course this kick panel will mount in the factory spot, and so just under these two screws and I can kind of take down the whole thing. No more screwing around under the, you know, steering column trying to mess with the DME relay and yada yada yada. So it should all be right here. And, uh, that's really my hope for this car, is to have it uh, just full, standalone, um, all engine wiring just right here, uh, all new stuff, all accessible and diagrammed and looking nice. So.